The worst piece of advice I was ever given was honestly in high school when I got pulled out into a hallway and these girls basically told me that I needed to stop being so opinionated because the boys didn't like it. And I told them to F off because listen, I'm a bad and I have a lot of opinions and I will never ever be put into a corner and you will never tell me not to like have an opinion. Well, someone needs to tell you and I will be the one. went through catechism and confirmation and faked it, left the church and went back to the church after my son died, son died, son died, not the Catholic church, my, my, or not my son died, my, my husband's, my mother-in-law passed away, my uncle passed away, and then my great aunt passed away, and then my son got diagnosed with a heart condition, I think all at the same time, I think all at the same time, and so we were like, a little bit like beat down and we were like desperate for something okay before you go any further if you're not up to date on the moderator spy situation start here i'm gonna link these in the description bx beast boy or ekc people suck there is so much to explain um i highly suggest watching both of those lives um there is a couple other ones out by now i'm sure i haven't seen any other ones um you know, you know that EKC people suck at BX um, are kind of like two people that really uh, are good at what they do. So, you know, you're going to get all your information there. So that'll be in the description. All right. Now that that part's over with. All right, guys. What the heck, man? A moderator spy. Somebody pretending to be friends with KJ just to turn around and make videos like I make a boater. What? Where they do that at? Or... The other possibility, which we're going to ponder, is the fact that KJ loves victimhood so much that her and this girl um, came up with this plan to, you know, victimize KJ. for Because a lot of people joined uh, KJ's membership after they found out what a sad story this was, you know? So it's either A, this girl is like screwed up in the head and went out of her way to play both sides of the fence, or B, you know, KJ and her were in on it together and we're the fools. So let's take a look. So over the summer, somebody tweeted to KJ that they basically were in her driveway. They took a picture of the house across the street and KJ was freaked out, rightfully so, you know? As much as I dislike the woman, I think that that's so screwed up. I don't like the fact that anybody would do that, and I don't condone it in any way, shape, or form. So it was pretty clear to KJ over the summer that, you know, this TD Talks person was rather disturbed if they were going to, you know, show pictures. You know, they didn't come out and threaten her, but the way that they did it was really creepy. I mean, it says, so I went for a walk today on your, on your side of the street. I stopped in your driveway to take a picture of the beautiful sky across the street. Someone helped me out with my poetry. I suck. Hashtag Katie Joy. You're a writer. Disclaimer. No, this house isn't across the street from you. I digress. How weird is that tweet, right? The sky looked nice, so I took a picture in your driveway of the house across the street, and I'm trying to write poetry, but I can't, and you're a writer help me like that's just weird so it's pretty clear that whoever wrote that cough cough tea detox obviously because it has her name on it which we'll get to that later she says that wasn't her that was somebody else who used to own her account like oh i can't with this this is so crazy i'm surprised she didn't just say i was hacked you know and blame it on that like some people do but she claims that this account used to be her family members okay and now that said family member is passed away. So when said family member passed away, TD Talks took over the account and left all the tweets there, apparently, and just picked up where the family member left off. It was like, oh, this account doesn't like KJ. Um, I'm just going to take it over and go from there. Even though I'm a moderator for KJ, right? And even though... I text KJ and I say, hey, what did you eat for Thanksgiving? How are you? Here's my phone number, okay? This is this girl gave Katie her phone number and said, hey, if you ever need to talk, you can call me. How twisted is this? This is strange. Yeah, um, I don't buy that, not for one second. I think that this girl, this girl did own up to a lot of stuff. Like, she did own the fact, she really didn't have a choice, um, that she was infiltrating 
KJ's, you know, wife. Uh, but she won't own the fact that she's the one that tweeted that. Why? My opinion is she knows that extra backlash will come with that because you don't go on people's driveways and you don't threaten like I don't know I feel like that's even worse than infiltrating in a way because it's like a severe invasion of privacy and there's a picture the picture really is I guess of uh the host across the street from KJ or so she says you know so that's just weird right so that's one possibility and of course the second one is that they're working in tandem together to produce this narrative that KJ is always a victim and they're doing it for, you know, poor me reasons and, and membership reasons, right? So, I don't know. I'm kind of uh, on the line about what to believe. Now, Katie says that this TT Docs chick admitted to her that she was only, you know, making these videos because of monetary gain, right? She was making money off me. She was supposed to be my moderator and my friend. And she, behind my back, was making these videos. And she did it for, you know, money purposes or whatever. But I don't know if I buy that reasoning. I really don't. I, in my opinion, I think, A, this girl is super screwed up and just enjoyed the thrill of playing both sides. Because some people do weird things like that, right? Unfortunately. And then the other one is, um, yeah, she she did it for money reasons what if she did it for money reasons she's probably really disappointed because let me explain something td talks and i got monetized around the same exact time her account's a lot older than mine um as soon as she started making kj videos she was able to you know get monetized she told katie that's why i did it that's why i did it i don't i don't think so man i think that she's just twisted and enjoyed playing both sides i think that that's really the gist of it because let me tell you something and i'm only showing you guys this to prove a point plus i have no shame in my game honestly i mean own thy nasty right guys i'm gonna show you what an account like mine and hers makes the first month monetized okay you ready for this tell me if this is worth your repetition now mind you she you'll see that she has more videos than me and whatnot but she didn't get monetized until I did. Actually, I think she got monetized a little bit after I did, right? So, if I've made a whopping $139.99, right? Which I'm pretty sure that YouTube takes a nice chunk of that. Not completely sure, so don't quote me on it. But, you know, if this chick got monetized around the same time I did, whatever. She, she basically did this for $100, okay? She sold out played games with katie and played both sides for literally like a hundred dollars how pathetic is that yeah last night katie was like oh because she knows that people who make videos about me make so much money blah 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 listen there's a big misconception out there and i think that i even i used to think this i would think that people with like a couple thousand subscribers made a couple thousand dollars a month right that's what i assumed but no, that's not how this works. That's not how any of this works. Um, I could get into detail about why, you know, people in the tea community don't really get a good rate for clicks per thousand or whatever. It's called CPM, but it's really clicks per thousand. Um, but that's a story for another day. Anyways, if she was looking to make money off this, like, she's going to be really disappointed. Like, yo, girl, you might be able to get coffee for a week or something like I do, like, so when I tell you people I don't do this for the money, like, I really don't. I do it because I like mini making videos, like, it's fun to me, whatever. Um, I know that there's not really much money to be made at this level, and I don't know if she assumed she was going to get rich quick by making KJ videos. Maybe she, maybe she was, like, struggling and she thought, hey, I know a way to um, get monetized really fast. I'll just make KJ videos, even though I like her and I'm her friend, I'll just do that. That is a possibility, you know. I'm not saying it's not. There are so many possibilities here. Um, now, last night on Twitter, I before I really absorbed what was taking place here, I offered to hear T Detox's side of the story. I said, "Hey, do you want to do a, um, a live with me, and we'll do an interview? And I can ask questions because I, I want to hear all sides." But <laughs> after after watching um, BX Beast Boys live and watching EKC People Sucks live panel, I was like, yo. And then I had a friend of mine on Twitter hit me up. You know who you are. Shout out. 
she was like, yo, I don't think you want to do an interview with her. Now, the more information I got, I was like, what the heck was I thinking? I don't even need to do a interview or even need to know her side because she already admitted to playing both sides. So there's not really much left to be said. And I don't think she's going to own up to the other things. I think she, uh, she probably feels like she's owned up to enough and doesn't need to own up anymore because people are going to be mad at her either way, right? I mean, she's probably like, why should I own up to being in her driveway? That's like a big no-no and people already hate me. So, <laughs> you know, um, I, maybe hate's the wrong word. I don't hate the girl. I mean, why, what she did was kind of suspect and I don't know, man. I don't like people who do shady things like that uh, at all, especially if their motive is to make money. Like, why would you be friends with somebody pretend to care about them and then turn around and do that like that's pretty messed up man like and there's so much more to this story that I'm not even telling you because it's there's so many layers there are layers to this okay so the girl with her, her T Detox is T Detox's other name is Mindy Morningstar okay and the other night while I was shopping at Walmart I had my headphones on and I was just listening to you know um, the people I subscribe to, I was just going through it, listening to it, and it's so funny because I didn't expect this to come on. The other night, I'm shopping, and, and here comes a, you know, a, a, excuse me, trying to do my makeup at the same time. There's a video that says, these people dox me, and you need to know who they are, and I was like, oh, okay, I'm in the same kind of community with this girl. Well, let me take a listen to it, okay? So I did. And I was like, oh, that's really messed up, I thought to myself, right? Because I've had some problems with um, the Katie Hater OGs, I'll call them. Um, you know, I felt like they were, I felt like they had like a mob mentality. And so I could kind of relate. I was like, okay, yeah, I, I feel like these people have a mob mentality too. Um, so, you know, I even dropped the girl a line. I was like, hey, you know, don't let the people on Twitter bother you, whatever, whatever, right? And then she had a live later on that night. And I popped in her live and I said the same thing. Hey, I know these people on Twitter are relentless. Just, you know, don't let them bother you, right? Little did I know that this chick was, was the bad guy, right? So what had happened was, sorry if I'm going a little out of order here. Um, <laughs> becomes a little confusing. So basically, so one of the, um, the OGs will call them, right? I don't even know this person's name. I can't remember. I've never interacted with them. Um, I don't think I have anyways. They basically started to realize that this Mindy Morningstar character, aka TD Talks, was playing both sides, right? These, these persons started to pick up on the fact that this chick was pretending to hate KJ and then pretending to like her. And they, were, they noticed she was a moderator. They noticed she had been around for about a year. They noticed um, that she was dropping comments to KJ, like nice comments on Instagram. Um, yeah, they noticed all that. So they were they they called her out on it. They were like, "Yo, why are you?" They basically said, "Why are you playing both sides?" Like we, I know what you're doing. They they let her know it was a dude. He let her know. He was like, "Look, I know what you're doing." Blah blah blah. So she turned that into these people are doxing me now mind you the dude had said to her i know who you are i know you have this account i know you have that account what the heck are you doing right so she probably started to get nervous obviously she was like oh my god they're on to me so she turned that into these people are doxing me and threatening me and everybody needs to know about it so she went on and she said this person said this to me now she left of course, she left out all the juicy details of what he was starting to realize, right? So she turned it into just like Katie would, right? Just like Katie. She turned it into a victim impact statement. You know what I'm saying? Like, she was like, oh, poor me. They're doing this to me, right? Then she had a live that night and got more sympathy. Now, meanwhile, the OGs are like talking behind closed doors. They're like, yo what is up with this girl this is crazy now she's running around not only is she playing both sides because we know she is right now she's running around telling everybody that we're doxing her and and doing all this awful stuff when we're not we're just asking her what the heck right so they got sick of listening to it and what did they do 
they they called her out they were like look all right enough is enough your jig is up here um since you want to threaten us and make up lies and say we're you know out to dox you how about we just tell everybody that you play both sides of the fence how about that how about that so once she realized that the cat was out of the bag she started to email kj and was like i feel really guilty about what i've been doing and she started to come clean right now the only reason she started to come clean is because she knew she knew that crap was about to hit the fan right because while she was emailing kj you know spilling some of the beans about what she had been doing the ogs were formulating a plan to make a live show to showcase how screwed up this girl really is and to clear their names right so all that was happening at once <laughs> literally so katie goes live katie says oh my god th this girl has been playing me she wrote me this email the email's wicked screwed up this girl i don't even know she's wicked screwed up and then and then bx goes live now i didn't catch katie's live i just i was doing dishes i caught bx's live and i was like yo what is going on here and i was like whoa 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 wait a minute because i remember i had heard the whole video from the night before of her saying that these people were doxing her harassing her so i was like what the heck is happening here <laughs> and i had already had a semi bad experience with the ogs so i'm like i don't know if i believe this right um yeah so I definitely believe them now, um, no doubt. And this girl, now, here's the weird thing. Like I said, if she did do it in tandem with KJ, if, if they were, if, if this was a team effort between her and KJ to gain sympathy from the public and try to paint KJ in a victim light, because we all know that's the best role she plays, literally, um, why would somebody tarnish their reputation for that, you know? Why would somebody do that for $100 either way? Like, I honestly think it just boils down to this girl being, like, screwed up. I don't understand why anybody would do that. She either, maybe, because she's been around for, like, a year. Remember that? So, I think that she really did like KJ in the beginning, like, probably a lot of us did, right? And then realized what a nut job she was and started to make videos of order. But, so, she says, she says, okay, T.D. Huck says that she only remained close to katie so she could get material for her videos right which we all know <laughs> you don't need to be on the inside uh with katie to get video material right there's a five oh, five thousand people plus reddit there's all these people on twitter like the whole oh i only stayed close to her to get you know, to be a spy so I could make videos and blah, blah, blah. I don't buy it. I don't. I don't. <laughs> what did she have that the rest of us didn't? Do you know what I mean? Like, as far as I know, nothing. Uh, nothing. I mean, I did hear in the live panel that um, a couple months ago when Katie's quote-unquote best friend's husband had passed away, that somehow she got katie got disinvited to the funeral and wake because she couldn't keep her mouth shut talking about it on her show because if you remember correctly the same time that katie's friend's husband passed away tragically um katie was dealing with lots of drama she was dealing with um that girl 10 to life remember that remember the whole sophie thing and 10 to life whatever that was taking place at the same time 10 to life and dad podcast rode out on kj they they um lit her up that night they made her look so stupid so stupid 10 to life just dragged her in the classiest way i've ever seen so all that was going on kj comes on and's like my best friend's husband died and played the sympathy card right even though you know it is messed up that that dude died that's horrible but at the same time everybody was like oh what a perfect time for her to play poor me you know so yeah so during that time, she couldn't keep her mouth shut, and she, her friend got mad, apparently, allegedly, and was like, don't come to the funeral, don't come to the wake. So literally, I think that's her only friend, too, so that's really sad, but apparently this girl knew that, okay? But she never made a video about it, so if you're staying close to KJ to get material for videos, and you found out this secret thing, then and you didn't say nothing, then I don't buy that, I don't, I don't. Now, if I'm missing any of the details of the story, I apologize. 
Um, I encourage everybody to do your own research and find out what happened for yourself. I am not a fact machine here. I never will be. Um, this is just my take on the things I heard. So I decided to hop on Twitter real quick and to see what's going on before I post this video. And this is what I came across. Actually, I won't be responding to anything on Twitter anymore. The relentless harassing and lying to cover why you're doing it is crap and you know it. It's manipulated lies to cover what you really did. You got my name, sought my personal accounts out, never knew before then. Okay, so my question is, maybe someone can answer this for me. Why would they do that? What do they have to gain or lose by trying to go at her? Okay, she keeps saying, you knew who I was before summer. You knew who I was. You knew. You knew before all this. What does it matter? You know what I mean? Like, what is she? What is her point by saying that? What is the point she's trying to get at by saying, you guys knew this a long time ago? Is she trying to say, like, you've known all along and, and you're only saying it now? Like, what is she trying to get at here? What am I missing? I don't understand. I read a couple more tweets because I know some of you out there don't have Twitter. So it says, look, she gave me a wrench I didn't want. <laughs> She's saying Katie gave her a wrench she didn't even want it. When was the motion to not remove any evidence set? I do know I didn't delete anything for anyone. They will see that. I'm not worried. I know I didn't. Maybe someone was trying to accuse her of uh, being the deleter of all the stuff. Because Katie's not supposed to delete stuff, right? But what if one of her moderators deleted stuff? You know? So they're trying to... I think they're trying to say, like, that she was... You know, is working with her, has been working with her. Maybe she's trying to help um, her case or something. Who knows at this point? Next one says, Everyone thinking I'm here for Katie. That's a joke in itself. I hung around to get content. That's it. I'm only guilty of having a conscience that made me feel bad at times. That's all. I can confidently say I don't give a whatever. So if you have a conscience but you've been doing this for how long and you didn't tell Katie, your conscience didn't get heavy for you enough to tell Katie until you were called out for having two accounts and playing both sides. So how, guilt, how, how, how are we supposed to believe that? Come on, girl. All right, the next one says, What I did do was hang around, acting like I had no problem with Katie to her face to get my content. She blocks everyone she knows doesn't like her. So basically, she's insinuating that without that, that she couldn't have made videos. Like, yeah, she does block everybody, yup. But we also have other ways of getting stuff. Like, the fact that she's trying to act like that's the only way is kind of weird. I don't really know what she's talking about in the next one because I think these people have me blocked. <laughs> uh, it says, I made that I finally caught one of your lives. I was on my phone and forgot I was on my other account and was only trying to throw people off. My first comment was to everyone saying, thank you all. I quickly deleted it and said I finally caught a live. Okay, yeah, it's hard to keep up two personalities, I guess. Weird energy, man. All right, the next one really got, got me. It says, uh, Sock accounts on dishonesty. Everyone who's okay with those, the irony there, huh? Yeah, that is a little different, all right? For, yeah, it is different, hun. It is because if you're pretending to be somebody's friend and giving out your phone number at that, you're, you, she also said, I was never Katie's friend. I'm sorry, if you give your phone number out to somebody, you're trying to befriend them. And the latest one I saw says, I have not looked at Twitter today. I have no idea what's coming at me. I'll be addressing my side. I'll try to answer anything I can. I will not be replying to questions I addressed in my video for the sake of someone not hearing me or further harassment. All right, well, there's really not much to explain, you know? Like I said, I was going to try to do a little interview with this girl to gain her perspective because I feel like the quote-unquote OGs kind of gave me a hard time too. Um... Or at least a couple of them. I, I don't know how many there are. I don't know any of these people really. Um, you know, I don't have a personal problem with them except for the fact that somebody tried to drag me for fair use, but that's another story. Um, yeah, so I'm I mean, I'm willing to hear all sides here, but it's not looking good for this girl. And there's no excuse for that. Her whole like, oh, I did it to get content, like that's not 
a valid excuse where I'm from. I don't know. I don't know. That's just weird to me. I don't know why somebody would do that. I mean, it's just, it's creepy at that. It's very creepy. Even KJ doesn't deserve that level of uh, creep. We'll just call it creep because really I cannot think of any other word besides creepy. Especially the whole pitcher driveway thing. Creepy. And the fact that she won't own up to that is weird. I'm sorry. And the fact that she's trying to blame it on a deceased relative. Ugh, I'm just mind blown, dude. I am. I feel like she won't own that little thing because she knows that there's... There's no there's no excuse to be doing that. That's just un unheard of and not cool. And even Katie doesn't deserve that stuff. I'm sorry. She doesn't. So she was a mod and she paid. She was a paying member too. I forgot even to mention that. That's just great. Okay, and in the next one, I think she's referring to the dude I was talking about. Moderate. I think that's his name. I believe he's the one that figured out what was going on here. So it says, Moderate didn't DM me innocently and he and I... And he, ugh, moderate didn't de God, I can't talk. Moderate didn't DM me innocently and ever ask me shit about being on Katie's channel. Shen's too. They taunted me in DMs. He said he figured me and my channel out midsummer. I never had content on my channel then. Okay, so what? what's the point? I, I don't understand this whole I never had content with this whole summer thing. Like, why does that matter? I'm missing something here. But... With that being said, you know, when, when you claim somebody doxes you and you don't show the proof, like, if he taunted you and stuff like that, then why don't you just show everybody? You know, you already made a whole video about it, you're tweeting up a storm, why wouldn't you just show where he taunted you? Katie is playing victim like we were friends, but the closest I have come to ever saying anything about anyone here is in my email last night I wrote while freaking out and dealing with all this, trying to defuse it so she wouldn't come after me as well. Okay, so you didn't give her your phone number? I mean, listen, and if I'm wrong and, you know, and TD Docs is right and she really has been harassed by these people and whatever, whatever, I'll leave my words and apologize, okay? I know there's usually a few sides to every story here and I did offer to talk to her, but I don't really want to be associated with somebody who has alter egos and, and different personalities and I don't know that's just not my style I don't I don't have I don't hate this girl or nothing I don't want nobody to send her hate so is she insinuating that the reason why these people taunted her is because she was friends with red little red um yeah I don't know much about that I'm not gonna get involved in all that I mean I didn't know half of the things I heard in the live panel on uh EKC people suck I don't know, man. All I know is I have a bad taste in my mouth because of what Miss Mafioso did to me. So, you know, that, like I said, that's why I wanted to talk to TT Talks myself. I thought that I'd be a good person to hear her side or whatnot, but nope. So not only can I not respect the whole alter ego thing, I have just come to the conclusion that I, I'm taking notes, man. I'm sitting over here, sitting back, taking notes, you know what I'm saying? Like... I think I should just stay in my own lane and stay to myself and not associate, not collaborate, not nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, just stay over here in my corner, mind my business. Because the the thing, I've only been here for like a month, okay? Now, I follow KJ for oh, well over a year. But I've only been in this video making uh, part for like, I don't know, a month or so. And the things I have seen unfold in this community disturbing man just straight up disturbing i've met a few great people you know definitely but more bad it seems than good for example this community has such a sketchy vibe to it that i wanted to help somebody that i respect out with something right so when i hit her up i said hey i want i want to help you with something you know just to be nice i said i don't i don't want anything from you i don't need your unyielding loyalty like and I have no ulterior motive. I just think that it's important for us to, you know, stick together and, and show kindness to one another. Because the way things have unfolded in the last month or so, and from what I understand even before that, is just not cool, you know. But you made it this far, you might as well subscribe. Um, but yeah, so that's that. And if I missed anything, let me know. And yeah, I'll catch y'all later.